Hello teachers, we have another gamified PowerPoint template. I call this Quiz Quest. This is inspired from the Bank Heist the Monopoly game. In this game, the players has to match three tiles. And each group of tiles corresponds to a certain points. In order for the players to flip the tiles, they have to answer the questions linked to the tiles correctly. To distinguish which tiles has been flipped by each player, just change the color of the tiles according to the player's color. There are five colors to represent five players in this template. If you want to learn how to make this fun and interactive PowerPoint template, watch the video till the end. First, let's set up the background in this template. I added a texture. Then insert a rectangle. Change the color into blue and adjust the transparency. Lock the shape so that it can't be moved accidentally. This would be our title slide. In this tutorial, I would focus more on the animation. So feel free to design your title slide and the second slide, where you will put the mechanics of the game. Now, let's add another rectangle. This is where we will place the tiles, remove the outline, and change the color into a darker blue to make a contrast with the background. Let's then add some shadow effect to make it look elevated. Now, let's make a tile. Insert a rounded corner rectangle and change the color into golden yellow.
This would be the cover of our tile. Let's add a button for our linked questions. And we are done with our first tile. Now let's duplicate it five more times for the color of each player. You can customize this according to your number of players. Now let's add animation in each tile. The green tile shall appear when I click the yellow tile, while the rest of the tile including the yellow will disappear. We want the animation to take effect when we click the yellow tile. So set the yellow tile as the trigger, then set the duration into one second. Now click all the tiles except the green tile. Click Add Animation and choose Disappear. Then on the Animation pane, drag them below the trigger yellow. So all the animations will take effect when the yellow tile is clicked. Repeat the process for the other tiles. Just change the trigger button of each tile.
Now, let's arrange our tiles. Select them all and align them at the center and middle. Then put them behind the cover shape. On the selection pane, drag the yellow at the top of the other colors. Then, put the cover and the button at the top of the yellow. Oops, I forgot the number also. Make sure that you drag yours at the top. Now it's working the way we want it. This time, let's animate the cover, the button, and the text box. We will make them disappear when we click the cover. This will show the object hidden behind the cover. Select the three, then add disappear animation. Set the cover shape as the trigger. Yeah! Let's add one question slide. This will be linked on our button. You can modify yours according to your activity. You can even make it a multiple choice, but for this template, I want them to give the correct answer directly. Let's rename the shapes in this slide. Now let's add animation to our answer and answer box. For the answer box, we will add fill color. From yellow, it will turn into green when we click it. So set the answer box itself as the trigger. For the answer text box, let's make it appear with the animation of the answer box. So select the appear animation and the trigger is the answer box. Now, let's add a home button on our question slide. Then link it to your third slide where your tiles are placed. So every time you click it, you will return to your tiles.
Now, let's link our button to our first question. Select the button and go to your Insert tab. Let's add a star button to our title slide. Then link this to your second slide. Let's also add a next button to our second slide. Then link it to your third slide. Perfect! Now, everything works the way we want it! Yay! Now, let's duplicate the animated tile we made. Select them all and press Ctrl plus D. Duplicate it seven times, so we get eight tiles in a row. Then, select all the 8 tiles and duplicate them. Make 3 rows. Now, let's edit the numbers. This time, let's add the objects that they are going to match. I will be adding four objects here. Resize the objects for them to get hidden under the covers. Duplicate the objects as many as the tiles. We have 24 tiles, so we need 24 of them. Let's duplicate them 5 times so we'll get 6 in each object, a total of 24 objects. Next, select all the text boxes, buttons, and the covers. Then go to Picture Format. On the Arrange menu, click the Bring to the Front.
Then, let's distribute the objects to our tiles. Do not hide them yet, so we know which tiles are empty. Okay, time to hide your objects, place them behind the covers. Make sure that they are at the center. Now, let's add another 23 slides for our questions. We should have 24 slides since we have 24 tiles. Then, link the buttons to the corresponding number of questions. Select all and add appear animation. Set it into with previous to make them appear every time we open slide 3. Now let's add a title at the top of the tiles. A little tip when making projects like this. Always rename your shapes and make sure to click the Add Animation when adding animations. To make sure that you are adding an animation and not changing your animation. Now, let's make this title a clickable button. Link it to the first slide so that you return to your title slide every time you click it. Select all the objects again. 
except the title and the two rectangles. Let's add another appear animation. Set the quiz quest title as the trigger. So when we click the quiz quest, you will be returning to the title slide and at the same time bring back the objects to their original layout. All right, we're almost done. Now let's try them out. For the final setting, set up your slideshow. Choose Browse at a kiosk. Now, you can only transition to your slides by clicking the buttons. And now, we are done with the animations. Thank you for watching this tutorial. Please like and subscribe if you want to get updated of our next gamified PowerPoint template.